Low potassium levels can cause symptoms such as fatigue, digestive problems, and frequent urination. Whole plant foods contain high levels of potassium. What is potassium? Potassium is an essential mineral for all functions in the body. It helps your nerves, muscles and heart function properly and helps move nutrients and waste around cells. What is potassium deficiency? Potassium deficiency is when a person has abnormally low levels of potassium in their body. Also called hyperkalemia. Here are eight signs of potassium deficiency. 1. Weakness and fatigue. Weakness and fatigue are often the first signs of potassium deficiency for several reasons. First, potassium helps regulate muscle contraction. Low levels of potassium in the blood cause weaker muscle contractions. Second, a deficiency in this mineral can affect how the body uses nutrients in a way that can lead to fatigue. For example, some evidence shows that deficiency can impair insulin production. This can lead to higher blood sugar levels and less glucose, which serves as energy for cells. 2. Tingling and numbness Although it is more common in people with high potassium or hyperkalemia, people with potassium deficiency may also experience persistent tingling and numbness. This is known as paresthesia and usually occurs in the hands, arms, legs, and feet. Potassium is important for healthy nerve function. Low blood levels can weaken nerve signals, resulting in tingling and numbness. Occasionally experiencing these symptoms, such as when your feet don't move or when you fall asleep sitting in an awkward position, isn't harmful. But persistent tingling and numbness may be a sign of an underlying condition. If this happens, it is best to contact your doctor. 3. Abnormal heart rhythm Potassium also plays an important role in maintaining healthy heart muscle contractions. This is because the flow of potassium into and out of heart cells helps regulate heartbeat. Low blood potassium levels can alter this flow, resulting in abnormal heart rhythms known as cardiac arrhythmias. Cardiac arrhythmia can also be a sign of serious heart disease. If you notice any unusual changes in your heart rate, seek immediate medical attention. 4. Muscle weakness and cramps Muscle cramps are sudden, uncontrolled muscle contractions. It can occur when blood potassium levels are low and may be painful. Within skeletal muscle, potassium helps transmit signals to the brain to stimulate contraction. It also helps end these contractions by leaving the muscle cells. If your blood potassium levels are low, your brain cannot transmit these signals effectively. This is thought to cause longer contractions and cause muscle spasms. Convulsions are less likely to occur in mild or moderate hyperkalemia, but may occur in severe hyperkalemia, less than 2.5 mmol, L. In rare cases, severe hyperkalemia may cause rhabdomyolysis. This is a dangerous medical condition in which muscle tissue breaks down, releasing damaging proteins into the blood, potentially leading to organ damage. In most cases, severe muscle weakness occurs with severe hyperkalemia, but sometimes it can also occur during acute episodes of mild or moderate hyperkalemia. 5. Shortness of breath Severe potassium deficiency can cause breathing problems. Breathing requires several muscles, especially the diaphragm, to help the lungs inhale and exhale air. If potassium levels in the blood become severely low, the lungs may not expand and contract properly, causing difficulty breathing. Severe potassium deficiency can cause the lungs to stop functioning, which can be fatal. One study found that people with hyperkalemia or hyperkalemia, called hyperkalemia and hyperkalemia, respectively, had a significantly higher risk of in-hospital respiratory failure and need for a ventilator compared to people with healthy potassium levels. 6. Digestive problems Digestive problems can have many causes, but can also be caused by severe hyperkalemia. Potassium helps transmit signals from the brain to muscles located in the digestive system known as smooth muscles. These signals stimulate contractions that help the digestive system churn and propel food so it can be digested. Low potassium levels can weaken the digestive system's contractions and slow the movement of food. This can cause digestive problems such as bloating or constipation. In particular, constipation is most associated with severe hyperkalemia. 7. Polyuria, frequent urination. Polyuria is a disease that causes you to urinate more than usual. The kidneys are responsible for balancing the body's fluid and electrolyte levels and eliminating waste through urine. Low potassium levels may impair the kidney's ability to concentrate urine and balance blood electrolyte levels, leading to increased urination. 
You may also notice increased thirst, known as polydipsia. Excessive urination can cause low potassium levels. Therefore, it is important to consult a healthcare professional if you notice a sudden change in urinating frequency. How is potassium deficiency diagnosed? Potassium deficiency is diagnosed with a blood test. Your doctor may order the test as part of a routine health checkup or if you have high blood pressure or kidney disease. If you are found to have a potassium deficiency, your doctor will usually order additional tests to find the cause. How is potassium deficiency treated? If you have low potassium levels, your doctor may recommend taking a supplement. Potassium supplements should only be taken under medical supervision. Too much potassium in the body can also cause serious health problems. If your potassium levels are very low, you may need to be given potassium intravenously in the hospital. Depending on the cause of your potassium deficiency, your doctor will also discuss other treatments you may need. We can also discuss ways to prevent the problem from recurring. If your medication is causing a potassium deficiency, your doctor may suggest changes or recommend that you eat more foods high in potassium. What are the complications of potassium deficiency? Severe hyperkalemia can be life-threatening. The most serious complication is irregular heartbeat, arrhythmia. Can potassium deficiency be prevented? Most people can prevent potassium deficiency by eating a healthy, balanced diet. Talk to your doctor about your potassium levels if you are at high risk, for example if you take diuretics.